FutureCast. Well, since yesterday, including some showers last night, picking up some beneficial rainfall, some communities about two inches of rain falling on Memorial Day. We're getting back to a drier stretch here that will take us late into the work week, at least through probably Friday morning. Looking at the radar right now, last bit of showers moving off of Nantucket over the last few hours. And we're going to keep our threat tracker in the green for today, Wednesday and Thursday, which means a low threat of any severe weather. Hazy sun back at the uh, beaches now. Narragansett skies have been brightening up and we're seeing even brighter skies in Providence, likely noticing the difference in the air now in the capital city as those humidity levels have really started to drop. It's been a much slower process. Places like Westerly, where just within the last hour or so, that low cloud cover and fog finally lifting, and the temperatures getting up to 70, 73. In Tiverton, inland spots, though, already to 84. In Warwick, 82. In Providence, with a west wind, and all the way up to the middle 80s in Smithfield. And those temperatures likely to climb another few degrees throughout the afternoon. So the warmest spots away from the coastline into the middle 80s. Warm and turning less humid across the area with a little bit of a breezy west wind at times. Sunsets now about a quarter past eight. Let's widen out the view. We've got a cold front that's sitting right over us here in southern New England. The the biggest thing that that front is producing as it moves through drier air and a shift in the wind and we've already seen that dry air into the Providence area but as I mentioned earlier this half hour dew points along the coast still in the 60s that's muggy air you want that dew point below 60 degrees to usher in that comfortable air. So here's the dividing line with that front. It'll continue working its way to the coast through the evening and night, but it's been a slow process for our beaches, and that's why you've had some of the low clouds and fog hovering close by, and you'll still, uh, at least this computer model, tries to keep some of that low cloud cover haziness in the air through the late afternoon and evening. So I wouldn't be surprised if right at our beaches, maybe still seeing a little bit of fog late afternoon and evening before the skies clear out and we have sunshine from our northern communities all the way down to the coast tomorrow. As for today on the bay, five to eight miles of hazy sunshine. Visibility looks fine. Southwest winds turning to the west of five to 12 knots. High tides late afternoon, 421. At our beaches today, hazy sun, still a little bit of fog. Temperatures into the middle 70s. Tonight, a more comfortable night for sleeping. Skies becoming mostly clear and moonlit. 59 degrees with temperatures falling under those light northerly winds at 5 to 10 miles an hour. So that shift in the wind as high pressure builds in out of Canada that will bring about some comfortable temperatures for tomorrow. First day of June, even cooler on Thursday, 77 for tomorrow, mostly sunny, pleasant and dry. We'll see our winds to the east tomorrow, which will keep eastern uh, Massachusetts cooler compared to Rhode Island and we get into that cooler air as well on Thursday. So from the 80s today to 70s tomorrow and upper 60s to around 70 degrees on Thursday. We're going to bring in a chance of showers on Friday, clouds and sunshine. Shower threat right now looks to be towards the late afternoon and evening. I have us warmer on the weekend, upper 70s partly sunny skies. I'd say the timing of those showers early next week still a little bit up in the air. Some of our computer models are bringing them in Sunday. Some of us, uh, some of the models hold it off 